Okay, so here we have a U5000, and we're going to do the light bulb test on the U5000 here to determine whether or not we have a faulty power supply section or a horizontal uh, faulty section. And again, just like the other ones, the 7400, 7500, U2000, this of course is slightly different. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it on the U5000. So somewhat similar to the U2000, there is a jumper here. Uh, w159 that you can see here that has been lifted and removed from the circuit and it normally went right here which feeds the this leg and this leg of R728 and R100 for the B plus so with this removed from the circuit there's no B plus from the power supply feeding any of the rest of the chassis uh, flyback or anything over in the horizontal circuit so again you can power this up on the test bench without the need of a picture tube so let's say you have a U5000 like the other ones that's just completely totally dead You've got no high voltage, no signs of life. You turn it on, it doesn't tick. It, it has absolutely nothing going on with it. Again, assuming Q703 is good, you've checked that, and your R104 is good, indicating a power supply is running okay, or should be. Uh, assuming you've done all that, and it's still completely, totally dead, you can rule out the power supply by doing the very simple light bulb test. And just as we do with the rest of them, we clip on to this removed jumper, and we will take our light bulb and we will touch the ground from our light bulb to the vertical IC heat sink for our ground and we'll touch the center of our alligator clip, well, the, our clip to the center of our light bulb, holding it on the ground and it should light up. If it lights up, then we have ruled out our power supply section and we have a problem in our horizontal section or bad caps or something. But yeah, so we can go ahead and make sure that we're good and insulated over here on our lead. Let's hook up power to our chassis and assuming we don't have anything touching anywhere we should be good to go so let's turn on the power on the test bench good to go Oop, our flyback is making noise not sure why it's doing that but let's go ahead and just do our test real quick all right so let's turn this on touch our ground and oh there we go Let's give it some light here. There you have it. Gosh dang it. All right. There you go. So our flyback is squealing a little bit. Uh, it shouldn't be getting power now, I thought, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, you saw there that it, that's how you test for the light bulb test. So now that it lights up, we know for a fact our power supply section is good. If it does not light up, we know it's a, it's a power supply problem. Since it did, we know it would be a problem in the horizontal. So that's how you do the light bulb test on the U5000. And again, to test your B plus on the U5000, again, it's, it's different from the other ones. It's still test point 202. Uh, let's go ahead and dissipate our stored voltage here from our power. Now that we have power turned off, let's dissipate our power. There we go. Okay. So that should be safe to uh, put back in now. Um, Okay, uh, what was I saying? Oh, B plus. So on the U5000, the B plus test point is actually here by C107. So on the U2000, it's up here by R100. On the 747500, it's over here in front of C805, I think it is, over here. Uh, so you. 7400, 7500 are right here, the U2000's up here, and the U5000's right here, but they're all three test point 202. So you put your positive lead here, and your negative on your frame, or your ground, and you adjust at this resistor here. I'm sorry, this um, variable resistor, your B plus pot. So that's how you test your B plus on the U5000. It's right here by C107. And of course you want to put it at 117 under load, and that should be a good setting. So there you go. That completes the series on the 7400, 7500, U2000, U5000 light bulb test. Uh, hopefully it comes in handy for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe if you want. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, hopefully it helps you out, and we'll see you next time.